have to New York, New Jersey, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And for the record, on this cold day in March, I have chosen to come to Tonawanda, uh, and now Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And the reason, the reason is because I love Tonawanda. I love the community here. I am so impressed uh, with the collection of people standing with us today. And I really want to commend um, Aaron Heaney and the Clean Air Coalition of Western New York for their extraordinary work in the past. It's their past work which is the foundation of this new grant. And I don't know if all of you know, but Erin and her colleagues um, are some of the leaders in the, in the country on uh, air toxics and community engagement and a range of environmental issues. So you've got quite a catalyst here. Um, it's also terrific to be with elected officials and the Chamber of Commerce because it's these collaborations that make a difference. I want to take a moment to thank um, my EPA colleagues, Mike Basile, who many of you know here in Buffalo, and also Charles Harewood and Judy Ann Mitchell, um, who've been really um, very involved in putting this project forward. So I'm here today to announce a $100,000 federal grant from EPA to the Clean Air Coalition of Western New York. Uh, it is to continue the important work that's happening uh, in Tonawanda. Uh, why Tonawanda? It's a beautiful community. There are amazing elected officials, business leaders, community leaders that have come together uh, to work on pollution problems. It's got one of the highest concentration of air polluting facilities in the entire state. And that's one reason why EPA is focused 